Hi, I'm going to show you how to set your essay to MLA formatting in Microsoft Word 2007 or Microsoft Word 2010. So as you can see, this essay is not in MLA format. The font is Calibri size 11, and the spacing is weird right here. See, these are more than double spaced. Also, there's no header, and uh, my bibliography is not quite correct. I'll show you how to do that at the end. So first, um, let's select the entire essay, so push Control a on your keyboard to select everything. Uh, now, to fix the spacing issues here, we're going to select the no spacing style here, so click that. Then uh, you're going to adjust the line spacing right here to 2.0, double spaced. Right? Now we're going to change the font right here to Times New Roman, and you're going to set it to size 12. Okay. Um, now, as you'll see, the essay title moved over to the left. That was because of the style we applied. So you're going to have to move that back to the center by recentering it. There you go. Okay, so now the essay is more or less MLA formatted. Um, let's add the header in. So double click in the header area, type in your last name, put a space there, and right here, page number, current position, and plain number and that will put the page number on every page's header. Now go over to home here. As you'll see, this is not the right font. It's in Calibri size 11, so you'll have to select the entire header by pushing Control A on your keyboard, and then changing that font to Times New Roman, size 12. And now double click on your essay to return to it. Okay, finally, I'm gonna show you how to do the special formatting that's required for the bibliography. So scroll down, to your bibliography here, and when you made the SAMLA, it probably put this on the left, so we're going to center that, the works cited or bibliography, depending on what your teacher wants. Um, next, you'll see all these entries here for different sources. Um, you're going to want to put them in alphabetical order based on the first letter of the source, so we have B, C, D, E, etc. Um, what you're going to want to do now is select the entire Works Cited page, so you can do that by just dragging your mouse over it. And now that it's selected, right click, hit paragraph, and right here where it says indentation special, make it a hang hanging indent, and push OK. And you'll see the first line is not indented, second and third lines are indented. And that is MLA formatting for your Works Cited page. If you would like information about how to cite a source, click on this link over here. There's one more thing that you might want to check. MLA formatting requires one inch margins on each side of your page. Now Microsoft Word defaults to this, but you might want to double check to make sure that it hasn't been changed somehow. So go over to Page Layout click on margins and make sure that it is set to the normal one inch margins. Okay, and that's it. Your essay should be completely MLA formatted. Good luck on the rest of your essay and thank you for watching my tutorial.